morning myself dr someshwar working as associate professor in st martin's engineering college so today i would like to explain concept of differential equation that is differential equation of first order and of first degree so here what is this differential equation by right. an equation involving the derivatives with respect to the independent variables then we can say that is as differential equation so here what is the differential equation of first order and first degree so that is an equation of the form dy by dx equal to f of x comma y is it to be differential equation of first order and first degree so here <coughs> x is independent variable and y is dependent variable so the generally this differential equation of first order and first degree can be classified into variable separable form homogeneous differential equation and then exact differential equation and the linear differential equation in y also bernoulli's equation so this exact differential equation Start of first degree differential equation classified into variable separable form, homogeneous differential equation, exact differential equation, linear differential equation in x and y, and the notation is a Bernoulli equation. Right. So now, what is this uh, variable separable form? The equation, any equation dy by dx equal to f of x comma y can be rewritten as dy by dx equal to f of x by g of y. Now, what I am doing here is I am writing the class multiplication here. So, f of x dx equal to g of y. So, here what I am doing is I am trying to separate the variables x term separate and y term separate. And after getting this result, that is f of x dx equal to g of y dy. Now I am integrating on both sides. Integrating on both sides. So that is integration of f of x dx equal to integration of f of y dy. So the resultant is some f of function of x minus g1 of y equal to some function c I am writing here. So where c is arbitrary tension. So this is the general solution here. Start of first degree differential equation. So by using the variable separable form. So now let's see one or two problems on variable separable form. Solve the differential equation dy by dx equal to e power x minus y plus x square into e power minus y. So this is the given differential equation. So I am trying to solve this differential equation. So I am solving this one by using a variable separable form. So here I am rewriting this differential equation. So that is equal to e power x into e power minus y plus x square into e power minus y. Now I am taking e power minus y common here. 
that is e power x plus x square. This is d by by dx. Now I am trying to separate the variables x terms and y terms. So that is d by by e power minus y equal to e power x plus x square dx. Now we can observe that this is in variable separable form. Now since this is in variable separable form, so we can integrate it to get the general solution. So by integrating it, so by integrating it, integration of, I am writing this one as e power y d by e equal to integration of e power x plus x square dx. So now that implies integration of e power y is e power y equal to integration of e power x. We have two terms here e power x that is e power x plus integration of x square. So that is x cube by 3 plus m by the integral constant. So this is the general solution. We can observe here that is e power y minus e power x minus x cube by 3 equal to c. So this is the required general solution. So this is the problem uh, we are solving using variable separable form. So let's solve one more problem. equation so that is y minus yx dx plus x into x plus y dy. Now I am trying to rewrite this differential equation so that is y into 1 minus x dx plus x into 1 plus y dy equal to g. So now what I am trying to write is y into 1 minus x dx equal to minus x into 1 plus y dy. Now I am trying to separate the variables. 1 minus x by x dx equal to minus 1 plus y by y into dy. Now we can observe that here we are able to separate the variables. So this is in variable separable form. Now by integrating it, by the integration of 1 by x dx minus integration of 1 dx equal to integration of minus 1 by y dy minus 1 dy. So I am integrating as well as I am simplifying the values here. Now after integration, integration of 1 by x log x minus integration of 1 is x that is equal to minus integration of 1 by y log y minus y plus c so that is log x minus x plus log y plus y is equal to c that is the required solution of the given differential equation which is of first order and first order. So we are solving this all of this problem using variable separable form.
I would like to explain the exact differential equation. So, I first of all, first give the differential equation which is in the form of mdx plus ndy equal to 0. is to be exact differential equation so if there exists a function here such that do f by do x equal to m and do f by do y equal to m then we can say this given differential equation mdx plus ndy equal to 0 is exact differential equation so if it is exact differential equation then we can find out or we can give the solution for this differential equation so that is integration of mdx ly where keeping y as constant plus second integration that is independent of x terms in y This, this is in the form of mdx plus ndy equal to 0 where m is y square minus 2xy and n is minus x square plus 2xy now the condition for exactness is do m by do y equal to do x by do x so I am trying to find out the partial derivatives of m with respect to y and n with respect to x so do m by do y is 2y minus 2x and similarly the value of do m by do x is minus 2x plus so you can observe here do m by do y equal to do m by do x. So that is the condition for exactness is satisfied. So the given differential equation we can say exact differential equation. Therefore, 
इवेक्ट डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन Since it is exact, I will write the general solution. So that is integration of m d x plus integration of n d y equal to c, where here y is different constant, and here independent of. See one more problem here. Solve the differential equation. E power y plus one into cos x dx plus e power y sin y dy equal to zero. So that is the given differential equation here. So we need to verify. Exact differential equation or not? So if it is exact differential equation, we can write the general solution. So here I am writing here m power y plus one into cos x. Then is m power y sin y. Now I am checking for the condition for exactness. So it is dou m by dou y and dou m by dou x. So what is dou m by dou y here? Differentiating with respect to x, with respect to y. So e power y as it is e power y cos x plus one cos x remains zero. Now calculate rho m by rho x. E power y. So here e power y with respect to x. E power y. Here we can observe that uh, dou m by dou y equal to dou m by dou x is equal to e power y cos x. Now, since uh, this is an exam differential equation, since uh, what is the condition? So condition for exactness is Given differential equation, 
Since this is exact differential equation, integration of m dx plus integration of n dy equal to c, which gives you the solution. So that is integration of m dx e power y plus cos x dx plus integration of n dy. You can observe here. So this is involving x. So I will write it here so that you can find out the solution with respect to x integration on both sides. Power y plus cos x sin x equal to c, which is the required solution of the given problem. So this is also the initial equation of first order and first degree, and we solve this problem using exact differential equation. Thank you.